Hello beautiful people, I hope that you are doing all right. My name is Miriam, welcome to my Ghanaian channel. So this is the second episode or the second week or the second edition, I don't even know how to say it. This is the second uh, video of my Ghana News Roundup series. So basically Ghana News Roundup started last week. It's basically a video that I make once a week talking about news that have been happening in Ghana and news that has also caught my eye that I believe I should update you guys on in case you are interested. This is a Ghanaian channel, so I talk about Ghanaian news. If this was a Portuguese channel, I talk about Portuguese news. So yes, I thought it'd be interesting to update you guys on news that have been happening in Ghana today, this week. So yeah, just sit down, relax and enjoy. So the first thing that has been happening, I mean, the first thing that has been happening, a lot of things have been happening this week. But one of the news stories that has caught my eye this week and that has been happening is the is Galamse. is is all about Galamse. Galamse is illegal mining in Ghana, and this is something that happens uh, quite often in Ghana. A few people are involved in illegal mining. So th if you don't know, Ghana is was previous was um in the early early days ghana was called gold coast gold coast before its independence the name ghana was called gold coast it wasn't called ghana and that was because of the gold resources that are that exists in ghana so illegal mining is basically when people mine illegally in order to get gold so they don't have a certificate they don't have anything they just they just uh, borrow equipment and they basically mine in order to find gold and they sell it and stuff like that illegally so this week the president said he has spoken about Galamse quite often since he was elected but this week he talked about the fact that he was ready to put his, to put his presidency on the line uh, for this matter to end Galamse so he this is a pretty heavy sentence to say but this shows how much he's just into ending uh, Galamse. So Galamse illegal mining is um, people. There's a there's a ban on illegal mining uh, for six months. But six months obviously is you know this is just to stop people from doing it. So the president said he was ready to put his presidency on the line to end Galamse. That's how serious this matter is. A number of water bodies in Ghana are really looking are just looking really bad because of the effect of Galamse. So yeah. Another news story that I want to talk about is about the second psychiatrist hospital in Ghana, the second psychiatric hospital. So there's the Accra Psychiatric Hospital. There are three, of, there are three uh, psychiatric hospitals in Ghana. And um, um, the second was founded in 1975, I believe, and that is the Pantang Psychiatric Hospital. So staff at the Pantang Psychiatric Hospital went on a strike, a sit-down strike, and on Wednesday, there was um they 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 um did a street march because basically they are fighting and they are basically protesting against they were protesting against the encroachment of lands so what is happening is that staff at the psychiatric hospital are just basically saying no that people have no rights to be taking their own their lands basically the lands that is at the psychiatric hospital or around the psychiatric hospital should belong to the psychiatric hospital so basically staff at the psychiatric hospital Pantang psychiatric hospital uh, protested and basically went on a strike uh, to let to make the government act about the encroachment of lands that is happening so if you read an article from John Lewis, let me just recite a bit what the article says let me read a bit so he says the way the wailing and anguish of relatives of mentally ill patients made no impression of on striking nurses of the Pantang Psychiatric Hospital who are protesting the takeover of their lands Work at Accra Second Public Mental Health Facility, located in the Adentan Municipal Assembly of Accra, came to a halt as nurses of the hospital took to the streets on Wednesday, actually, to demand immediate action from the government over what they say is the massive encroachment on their land by private developers. Eventually, um, the Minister of Health, um, Mr. Ajimai Menu, uh, spoke to one of the person who claims to basically hold the, one of the lands. Uh, so after talking to him and stuff like that, they basically came to a conclusion. They came to 
a con they came to an arrangement uh, to to halt development on the land temporarily. So after speaking to the Minister of Health, one of the private developers that you know has taken some of the land, you know, um, decided to halt to stop for a while temporarily the co any construction on that particular land. So it's temporary. So um, it's just time for the minister to find out what they can do about it. And talking to the press, the Minister of Health also said that. Um, he also mentioned that he's basically he plans on uh, engaging other ministers such as you know uh, the, the one that works in land and natural resources to basically come for a solution so after this news story a number of news came out uh, um, came out concerning the Patan psychiatric hospital there was also news that basically it's been three years since the hospital has received any financial help uh, from the government there are not enough fun financial funds given financial help given to mental uh, health institution mental health hospitals and you know mental health hospitals depend on basically people and gifts and all that in order to basically fund the hospital which is quite sad the third news story that i want to talk about today let's go a bit to sports now so yes it was actually on the 13th of july so i was going to say yesterday but you may be watching this on the 15th of july but this week um so a bus carrying players from the Asante Kotoko Football Club, which is really a professional football club from Kumasi, um, crashed into a truck, basically. So one of the officers who was in the bus, uh, who is who was in the bus uh, with the players, died in the pro died. I don't know if it's in the process or if he's after going to the hospital, but he basically died as a result of the crash. So many many of the players of the Asante Kotoko uh, Football Club were injured so there are pictures going round of one and players like andre ayu and barbara man send their condolences on social media uh, for the players that were injured and yeah so it's quite a sad story um they actually meant to the the football team the the asante kotoko um asante kotoko football club actually meant to be playing a match not very far from now so i'm not sure if it's going to happen but it's quite a sad news story. The next news story that I want to talk about is about Majid Michel. Majid Michel is a Ghanaian actor and um, he, he is a born again Christian. So he was a Christian before, but he became more serious in his faith in 2016. So he was invited to, you know, he was invited to various crusades to, to maybe to preach, I believe, and to, you know, to, to, to minister in various churches and stuff like that and he's basically become much more involved in terms of preaching the gospel loudly and you know just preaching the gospel and spreading the gospel of jesus christ and uh, in an interview with um, multimedia joy fm um, his colleague majid um, john Dumelo was asked what he makes of majid michelle's new lifestyle as a christian and Maggie, um, John DiMello said that basically people should just stop criticizing uh, Maggie Michelle and that, you know, people that, you know, criticize him have nothing to do, are aimless. Um, so, yes, so Maggie Michelle has obviously really changed his ways in terms of like spreading the trend in the gospel and, you know, in his interviews before you had the more chill Maggie Michelle. Now in his interviews, he's interviewed a lot about his faith and you know stuff like that so and he spreads the gospel when he comes when he's interviewed and stuff like that so yeah that's what he was that's what my, my john Dumelo said about his friend Majid michelle so what i think though is that you know he should still continue doing films i don't think that because you are a christian now you should, you should stop doing films you should stop appearing on tv no god could use you in your field so I think Majid Michel should stay in the acting industry and act roles that would motivate people. So yeah, he's just doing great at the moment, just spreading the gospel and just not being ashamed of his faith. I think that's great. And yeah. So finally, this is not a news story, but I thought I should make, I should talk about this particular topic. Like it's very, very, very serious, but it's not serious. I just want to promote some Ghanaian uh, people. Basically, I just want to promote Ghanaians that I follow on Twitter. Or Instagram or on social media that I think you could be interested in following as well so for people that just want to follow more Ghanaians 
or you know go on and start doing great things and i hope that what i'm going to say right now is going to help you figure out who you should follow on social media so one person that i'm following on social media is nadia buari so her instagram account is called i am nadia buari i actually have a lot of fun following nadia buari you know she she um she updates sorry she updates fans about you know her upcoming movies she also has an upcoming movie coming it's called estranged i believe it's a psychological thriller and i've seen an interview before that i think najabari said i think she said something like she would like to play this kind of character in a movie just the mad the, the crazy sort of girl so i think she got it with this movie she's playing a pretty pretty uh, interesting character so if you want to know more about it, you can follow her on Instagram at I am Nadia Bwari. She also uploads pictures of her twin kids. She doesn't show their faces though, but she once uploaded a video, a picture of her kid's father. You should definitely follow Nadia Bwari on Instagram. Uh, next is Mimi Inspired. Mimi Inspired. Uh, you should definitely follow me inspired on twitter she's great she really is inspiring she's an acquaintance that i know but she she, she really really inspires through her tweets she's a great girl great 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 person and you definitely follow her on instagram on twitter she tweets more um the next person that you should follow is denta denta show on instagram um and on twitter as well she's the founder of Guba Awards, she's a presenter, she is an actress, she's everything. Denta is great. So you should follow Denta to be inspired uh, because, you know, she started very small. Like she started as just a presenter and now she's just this global mogul, basically. She's great. So follow Denta Amwati on Instagram. Next thing, the next person, organization that you should follow on Instagram is or twitter is future of ghana future of gh uh, they have a twitter account they have an instagram account it's basically an organization that is there dedicated to showcasing mobilizing and nurturing youth for the development of ghana and i used to work for future of ghana i used to post articles on their website so follow future of gh they're recently in ghana as well next person that you should follow on instagram is sam Ocheri, Sam Ocheri one on Instagram. He is great. He is basically a guardian that went to live in, to, that went to settle in South Korea. Uh, he started, I believe, as a student, and then he just ended up just being in the entertainment field in South Korea. And now he's one of the, the one of the first black entertainer in Korea. Basically, now he started just as a student, and now he's just such a personality in South Korea. And you see his tweets as he's, in, as he's in South Korea, as he's shooting, and it's just very inspiring to see Ghanaians doing great things. So these are the people that you should follow for now. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. See you next week for another episode of Ghana News Roundup. Bye.